The University of Utah and ARUP laboratories are now able to test 1,500 patients a day for COVID-19 and have loosened the restrictions on who can be tested. Fox 13's Adam Herbetz reports from the University of Utah Health Center in Sugar House with a look at the new process. Well, until today, you needed to have symptoms and proof that you were exposed to COVID-19 before you could be tested. But now, because of drive through locations like this, we expect the number of cases in Utah to go up so we know how to move forward. Coronavirus testing has now been opened up to thousands of Utahns every day who might not have been eligible in the past. Right now we can test 1,500 patients a day. And assuming all goes well over the next couple weeks, we hope to be at 3,000. So that doubles our capacity to test daily. For weeks, the Utah Department of Health has warned the number of documented cases could be misleading because of the lack of testing. But now the state has a better shot of knowing exactly how much the virus has spread. The whole process is done while the patient's in the car. It preserves our ability to use a smaller amount of personal protective equipment. We're pushing our limits every day in terms of the number of people we can test to ensure that those who need the test can get it quickly. If ARUP Laboratories is able to expand testing to 3,000 a day by April, that would quadruple the numbers from March. But to make that happen, the state says we need to have enough tests, materials, and personal protective equipment to last. Currently, we do not have a large backlog in Utah. So at this point, we're not recommending anyone go out and make their own PPE. We're trying to get what's already out there um, in the hands of our healthcare providers. By the end of this week, there will be five University of Utah drive through locations where you can be tested. You can now show up unannounced, but you're still encouraged to call the COVID-19 hotline before you show up. That phone number is 801-587-0712. Reporting in Salt Lake City, Adam Herbetz, Fox 13 News, Utah.